adverse childhood experiences are shown to have what's called a dose response relationship to health outcomes. So the more adverse childhood experiences you have, um, the higher likelihood that you're going to have negative impacts on your health. And that could be anything from cancer, smoking, maybe depression, substance abuse disorder, just across the gamut. Um, oftentimes when we, when we talk about uh, health and the health of a community, we think of like, you know, we think of diseases, we think of conditions, maybe depression or alcoholism or cancer or smoking, act, actions that people, individuals take. Uh, and oftentimes we look at those health outcomes and exclusion of why they're happening and, and why people are making these choices. The unique thing about looking at ACEs is it talks about not just, uh, it, it really kind of refocuses things for us back more on a preventative and a very early intervention, early intervention stage. So if people are having um, adverse childhood experiences at, at an early age especially, then we can respond earlier rather than waiting until they've started smoking or they're diabetic and they're 45 years old and you know, maybe need medication and some, you know, a higher level of intervention um, to offset those behaviors. So um, that, that's the connection for us as a health foundation is really trying to get even further up the road, even impacting people before they're, ha they're showing these negative effects uh, that, that may happen from ACEs. One of the things that we may be able to do going forward is look at um, the level of adverse childhood experiences that we have as a whole in our county. Uh, we have such a diverse county and there's so many different areas uh, in, in different you know, number of cities and different areas in the county. It would be interesting to see what, what our county looks like from an adverse childhood experience perspective and, 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 and just try to figure out what, um, you know, what populations are showing what level of, uh, of ACEs or where they're scoring on the ACEs surveys. Um, there, there's an enormous amount of research that's starting to come forward in the last, you know, maybe five or ten years around neurological uh, developments and the developments of the brain. And a lot of these things that we thought were kind of exclusive of each other are actually starting to tie together. So um, it, it allows us as a foundation to be more responsive and work with, uh, you know, agencies like the Center for Child Counseling, to um, inform and educate behavioral health professionals when they're first coming into the field so they can better respond to what they're seeing.